hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing about uh, how to add uh, input dialog box and take some variables and display it in the output box okay so for that uh, we have to go to main.saml and inside that you have to drop an activity here okay what activity will be dropping is go to the activity panel and search here input okay but before that you have to search sequence because we'll be doing those things in a sequence right so just drag and drop here and after you have done that you have to double click this one and uh, go to drop activity inside the drop activity you have to search input okay when you search for the input and you get an input dialog you will be dropping it here and here you have to give the label like this is uh, not necessary this is what uh, input level means uh, what uh, it should show okay here we will be typing uh, what is your um, first number okay we'll be seeing how to add two numbers okay So uh, when we have done this one, we will be whatever the number is getting entered here that should be stored somewhere, right? So go to here value entered and go to variables and inside this uh, we will be creating a variable. Or you can even uh, do it using control K means uh, going to this place and doing control K. So you get an option here when we click uh, this one okay you click uh, value entered and click on variables you can enter some variable here so double click on this one and uh, write there x and it should be of the type integer because you are taking a number right so we'll be storing integer here and it will be in the uh, flow of sequence only and uh, expression will be keeping it as such okay and after we have done that we'll be using this variable here to store whatever the user has entered as that uh, variable name okay and the same thing should be followed again like uh, you should go here again um, take the input dialog and um, drag and drop here okay after we've done that uh, we'll be entering the second number and storing it in another variable so here that label text will be the same what is your second number okay so when we enter our uh, second number that should be stored in another variable so we'll be creating a variable here and that variable will be y and uh, integer means what type it is it should be in 32 and the expression will be as such and uh, here we'll be entering y okay so it will be stored in y now we can uh, either just directly um, add and uh, show the result or else we can even uh, type uh, means get assign okay what does assign do assign will take the operator and it will uh, assign the value okay like for example if I create another variable I will be doing this by a shortcut now type control K and you'll be able to create a variable type Z here and click enter the Z will be created here and uh, the expression will be nothing but X plus Y right so that should be assigned to Z okay and this should be not of the string type it should be of the integer type okay so integer type it will be assigned after we have done that um, there is another concept uh, to be noted here we can add a message box here okay message box what does message box do is whatever we write here it will output it okay so if we write here message as um, timer started why I'm writing timer started because I want to uh, show you something here timer started if I add here and then after that uh, I'll be adding a delay delay what it will do it will wait for that much time okay instead of making separate videos for each of these I'll just um, make it in one video see here if I just wait here for uh, 20 seconds it will after 20 seconds delay again it will uh, show the message output that the timer has been over something like that okay in the message box I will add here so what it will do is timer over comma answer is here I'll be displaying the answer which is Z okay and Z should be converted to string dot to string I have to do okay so let me show you the overview of what's happening here Here, um, not 
okay this is a sequence here okay in the sequence what i'm taking is an input dialog box input dialog box will take the input okay here dialog title if you can uh, if you want you can write some title and here the uh, it will ask what is your uh, first number whatever we enter that will be stored in the value entered here and then again it will go to the next uh, thing here also it's asking second number that will be stored here assign what it will do it will just assign the values x plus y will happen it will be assigned to z and message box will be just display in the output it will write uh, timer started and delay will happen message box will write z or to string another thing uh, what was missing is the right uh, line what does right line do is it will write to the output uh, panel here okay right line so i'll show that uh, as well so after that we can write line here that um, program over okay something like that okay so okay program over so it will just show that program was over okay so let's run and see this sequence it will take some time for compilation so after a few moments it will um, show a display like this and um, when the execution starts first thing uh, what it will show is enter your first number means our first input uh, dialog box okay and uh, keep an eye here in the output panel we will be also uh, getting program over at the end of this program so let's wait for the input dialog box okay it's asking me what is your first number i'll uh, type it as 8 okay and then i'll click okay and then it will go to the second input dialog box and there it will ask me what is your second number i'll input as 9 and that will be done and the uh, calculation will be done and timer has started now wait for 20 seconds because of this delay it's taking 20 seconds here the answer is not coming as of now so the delay thing also you got to know in this video what happens and observe carefully the delay has over something uh, like that it should be printed here let's have a look also the message uh, box will output uh, timer over z.2 string okay see timer over uh, answer is 17 the sum uh, is also visible here and right line will write program over okay see here program over it will write here okay so that was about uh, the sequences and uh, in the next video i'll be discussing about the flowcharts how to add the flowcharts means if else conditions when it is true what should happen when it is false what should happen i'll be discussing that okay so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one